leadership by example. First Timothy and chapter 4 and verse 12. First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 12 reveals to us that the impact of our ministry is in the example that we show. The impact of our ministry. He said, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of believers in words, in conversation. When you see the word conversation in, in, in scripture, it means the manner of life, the lifestyle. In charity, in spirit, in faith, and in what? Purity. We must be what? An example. So I must coordinate my affairs and coordinate my life with the consciousness that people are watching me. Because I have my life. I will live my life the way I like. Once you become a leader, once you become a worker in God's vineyard, you can no longer live your life the way you like. You must be an example. Everything you are doing, every step, is not hypocrisy. It's telling yourself people are watching me just the way people are watching us the bible told us too, to be careful that people are watching us he said we are surrounded by so cloud great a cloud of weaknesses so let us drop sin drop weights but they are watching us so know fully whether you are like a television displaying what christianity and what christ looks like so the impact of our ministry is in the example that we show that's why i tell people there is so much you will get from mentorship that from studying books we teach you tapes we teach you and inform you mentors we show you books we teach you mentors we show you there are things you will not be able to do in god now some of you are here right now you can pray six hours not because you have not been hearing it before but a mentor showed you how so check any given church over that church is a giving pastor a giving leaders check any praying church over that church is a praying pastor and a praying leaders check anyone any church of studious men and women over that church is the pastor that studies and leaders that study you will always give back to your kind the impact of our ministry and our service is not in the quantity of scriptures we bring out it is not in the eloquence of our delivery but in the example we that we live of the message we preach Hosiah 4 and verse 9 ah, and there shall be like what like people like priests if we see them we should say we are seeing the leaders you see while everything you do you are conscious you can't say it does not matter that's why as a leader there are some things you consciously do in the open so that the people will see and learn every aspect of your life cannot be inside the room and secret if i've not stayed like this to pray with most of you and i only do that as my personal life in there some of you will not be able to do so because you won't believe a human being can like priests like people like people like priests so if you want to have a vibrant people be a vibrant leader if you want to have a praying people be a praying leader if you want to have a zealous people be a zealous leader if you want to have a giving people be a giving leader you as a departmental it cannot be coming late and expect to produce members that come early this is an aberration you cannot be lukewarm and expect to produce members that are zealous you cannot play with the work and expect your members to take it serious like people like priests are you hearing me like people like priests so when i come to service i am conscious of everything i do i can choose like you see in some places i can choose to sit down on my chair from beginning to the end of the service and nobody will query or question me but i'm already training a young man that wants to get into ministry that when you start church why the people are praying you just sit down executively in your chair and pipe into the towers and the cedars of the ancients you, you that's what i'm training everything you do most of the things people learn in life they learn it by what imitation the greatest mode of learning in life is imitation there are some things you could do now you saw someone doing it and you copied it you had your parents speak it. there was no one that would say their parents sat them down and took a board and a pen and say in our language go is this come is this sit down is this you just stayed around your parents hearing them speaking it and you went it naturally everything we do as leaders is contagious you are lukewarm it will rub on the people remember that the bible says that the oil that flows from the head of aaron down to his skirts so the thing starts from up to what bottom you must be conscious of what you do 
the period where I feel I, my life, prayer life is going down, I'll be thinking that it will affect the prayer life of the people. Please. People don't care what you say. They watch what you do. Know it fully where people are watching you. They are watching you. There are things we do for the sake of what? The gospel. He said, this will make your blood to sin. Don't do it. For the sake of what? They, they are watching you. There are things I can't say. You don't know the influence of a leader. He can move a generation to a direction. So you must be conscious of what you do part time because people are watching you. Have you not read the Bible that says that we are living in a species read by men? So I will you say, sir, leave this to you are saying. I don't owe anybody anything. I can live my life the way I like to. No! The Bible says you are living what? Episodes read by men. Where one man reads the Bible, a thousand reads your life. People don't even have time to read the Bible. They read Christians. They read us to know how people are supposed to behave. In fact, God gave us a book, but it was not enough. He had to send his son to show us the way of life. Beyond the knowing, there is a showing. That's why Jesus came to show us how Christians ought to behave from the Gospels. Beyond the knowing, there is what? A showing. That's why no matter what is happening to me, when I come to church, I have to be joyful for the members to be joyful. Let the fire be ignited from me. It doesn't matter what is disturbing me. That's the sacrifices of leadership. Beyond the knowing, there is a showing who we see it. Because this generation, everybody believes anybody can talk. Have you not seen people that can teach prayers? They vibrate when they are holding the mic to teach prayer. But they can't pray more than one hour. But if they sound the alarm on prayer, you will see yourself as a sinner. So if you want to influence people, you influence them by what? Example. Anything you want the people to do, you do it first. Anything you want the people, you are not qualified as a leader to tell people to do things that you have not done first. Not. You must be in the front line of everything. If you have a plain pastor, you will see a plain people. If you have an unserious leader, it will bet on serious people. If you have leaders that are jokers, you will bet people, people that are jokers. If you have leaders that don't have any sense of destiny or direction in life, they will raise people like them that won't have any sense of destiny or direction in life. Lead by example. Be conscious. That's the attention I'm bringing to us. That everything you do, you do it with what? That consciousness that I am what? A living epistle. Being read by men. That's why the Bible says, let your light shine before men. Did he say, let it shine before angels? Matthew 5 verse 16. Did he say, let it shine before angels? Let it shine before men that they will see. They will see. So there are some things you must intentionally do for people to see. Let them understand the light. We don't hide our Christianity in the shadows and say, no. I have told you when the Bible says, go to your secret place. The secret place means your heart. That's why the Bible says that Jesus will knock at the door of your heart. And if you welcome him, he will come. It talks of your heart. You look inwards. You take your eyes away from distraction. You go inwards and you pray to your father. It didn't mean you should go and lock yourself in the room. Or it means when you climb the mountain, God hears you more. Seven leadership. Character for impactful leadership. Arise, O scepter of strength. O calm dominion on earth. As it has been spoken. O arise and rule. As it has been spoken, Lord, take your place. Arise, O scepter of strength, O calm dominion on earth. As it has been spoken, O arise, and rule. As it has been spoken, Lord, take your place. Seven leadership character for impactful leadership. Distant shores and the island will see your light as it rises on us. Distant shores, distant shores, and the islands we see your light. As it rises on us, you said, 
shine your light on me 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 Seven leadership character for impactful leadership. Number one, I am glad my heart is calm. You are my peace. I can be moved like Zion's hill. My feet are still. I am glad my heart is calm. You are my peace. I can be moved like Zion's hill. My feet are still. Number one. Have a contagious, sincere spirituality. As a leader, as a worker. Have a contagious, sincere spirituality. Romans 12 and 11, verse 11. He said, be not slothful in business. Fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Let people know you are a Christian. If they have not told you that you carry church on head, on the head, you are still joking. If they have not told if they, if they have not said that concerning you, you are still playing in Christianity. Why? There are things God will only do to preserve his name. Psalm 23. He said, for my name's sake, I will do this for my name's sake. You must carry that thing on your head. That it cannot wreak certain things to happen to you. Are we following? Sincere Christianity, full of the spirit. Your members, the workforce, the other, they should see that contagious devotion from you. When we say contagious, it means that it should rub off others from your life. People should say, wow, I like the zeal of this sister and brother. I want to serve God like her. Be full, be serious. Let the members, the HOD should start it. That you, you are in church. Every sense of seriousness is around you. You will be confident enough to tell a member, stop playing. They see you right. You'll be confident to tell a member, Jot. The pastor is taking notes because see the church setup is broken into units as i try to touch like this you you break it you go to the the nucleus the cell right and you pass that same information downwards you can't be doing head for head sake and you want to still leave that one for pastor again do we understand that be full of the spirit everything you do people should see you bring jesus into it they should be oh tomorrow is prayer meeting i cannot miss it tomorrow is bible study i cannot miss it they should be copying it from you fiery devotion they watch the zeal they watch the passion it should be contagious how will they come for vigil it is actually that is sleeping first leadership is sacrifice it is demanding you lead by example. people are watching me there are things i cannot do i can't sleep in church because people are watching me watching my attitude you must be conscious of that fact beyond the knowing i said there is what a showing like the greek we say that we may see jesus they've heard of him but they want to see him beyond the talking there is a showing be full of faith the bible tells us in Acts chapter 6 when they were to choose men seven men say let them be full of the spirit and full of what faith they should learn it they should learn god from your life fiery devotion that is contagious that is admirable my children learned fasting from me they saw a man who could go days without food and he will not lie down he will still be zealous for god he's not saying you know i'm in a restricted period i have to be indoors he will still be walking tirelessly they learned it on christ the solid rock i stand you must show it as an example. People should learn it from you. How will HOD come for me and say this meeting self? Ah, I don't know where to go. I don't know uh, the way my body is living. Hey, hey. What is wrong with you? You think leadership is in the title? No, it's in the function. It's a calling to responsibility. Romans chapter twelve, verse seven. He said, "He that is called to the position of leadership, let him work hard." Ah, ah, ah. Be full of faith. 
they say we'll do something you are the first to discourage your members do, do you know who you are there are things that is forbidden for you to say you are the one to tell them don't worry god will supply all that we need we are well able you didn't hear caleb and joshua are well able by the strength of god to take over this mountain you are not the one to complain leadership is demanding that's why not what you can do not everybody can do it you know one of the reasons why people what kills people's zeal when it comes to working for god should i tell you one of the main reason is because people want to pass through a school without writing exams so that lady that got you angry is your exam that brother that spoke to you anyhow is your test that you have failed or you just want to go through like that successfully but he told you now that there is going to be the trial of it so why didn't you anticipate it that instruction god will give to his a leader and say put that lady that looks unqualified it's your class now why god wants to keep pride that's why you got pissed off this lady can't even do anything that's why you are not god <laughs> only him know who can do things that's why he don't see the way we see it's your class god will cripple so many things from for on you now so you don't em embarrass him tomorrow in the future but those are the tests you are still failing now instead of you to learn lessons you get offended you want to go through heights in god without writing an exam the exam is with the events of life baba Mumi de Number two, be a God addict. Those are examples. People should see these things in your life and copy it. You can't be a worker. Number one, and not have a contagious spirituality. They come to church, they should see the ocean head, see the workforce. Prataku sate brother. You are the first to sit down. What do you want us to do? You are the first to sit down and complain. That's what responsibility is. That it is not easy on you, but you have to do it. Nothing in this kingdom can never be done from convenience. Nothing profitable. Everything that has to do with this kingdom of God has to be from a life of what? Sacrifice. Not because it is easy on you. Dangerously committed to your work. Let them see the way you give God priority. Once it will affect God's time, you tell them, no, it can go. I can't sacrifice God's time for this. They should learn it from you. you. You see what people sacrifice for God. You want to cry and weep. You're wondering, is it the same God you want to call on later? Don't you think that what makes him prioritize us is because we prioritize him? That's why we can call him and he specially wants to answer us. See, you need to sustain your hunger. It is hunger that will make you say again where people see pain. It's hunger. It is hunger that will make you call, call sacrifice pleasure and say, I'm happy doing it. It's hunger. Be a God addict. God addict. All men will see that light. Those are things I don't trivialize in my life. Me and God. That's when I come to church, I don't see anybody's face again. I worship my God, I serve him, I'm loose to him because I know what he does for me that is making the world to look for me. So while I should I be conscious of who is by my side so I can coordinate my dance step? Why will I be ashamed to talk about the God that is not ashamed to bless me? Yahweh, Yahweh, where would I have been if not for you? When you know what God has done for you, be a God addict. Let people come for every function you are supposed to perform in God. You are always on the front line. You are there. They see. It. They are learning it from you. Number three, never compromise excellence and top-notch quality. Take your work serious and produce quality. Let people learn it from you. I can't compromise standard even when there is nobody marking it. Give God excellence. The quality of a work reveals the personality of a manufacturer. See, you must get to a point, I'm telling you how I worked on myself. You get to a point, you tell your choir leader that please don't give me something I develop myself. You will know Sabi this fight for Mike. You know Sabi Sink. You are carrying people from spirit to flesh instead of the other way. You are the one saying, they did not put my name. Two weeks now, I've not sung. Do you enjoy what you sing? Sincere. Sometimes it's wisdom you tell yourself the truth. That this thing, do I enjoy it myself? Why not just stay with those you can enjoy? And why you work on yourself? It should not be HOD that I say, let's just do it like that. And HOD, when you are leading people that should master excellence from your life, say, let's just do it like that. 
let's just leave it that way and uh, let's just leave it like that you don't say that when it has to do with the work of god hey yeah yeah 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 number four display fear for god and reverence for you for, for leadership fear for god you sat with members of your department and they sent a message papa said they should do this ah, now then sabi that one no and your members are hearing you how do you reason you are now wondering why you, you are talking to them now they cannot answer you you led the way you show them the pathway of how to undermine leadership you taught them that's why i say you will do it consciously that this thing i do now somebody is watching you they can follow this thing as a template tomorrow it will be me to affect you know that you can do this to leaders so consciously when i'm even and they, i just they say papa said this say really oh, oh really please so let the fear of god be inside your heart let your member be hearing you say ah i beg eh? please once i beg i can't do otherwise let me do the right thing they should be learning it from you as a life that that is how you treat your creator you give him that reverence and honor eternally you are beautiful eternally you are glorious eternally eternally you are god so display fear for god and reverence for what leadership you can't go and sit down and be gossiping people gossiping leaders talking about your church you cannot it is forbidden a house divided against itself cannot stand it is forbidden there are things we don't discuss I've seen the God of wonders working miracles for me and those with gifts and talent the spoke prophetically the mantles of Elijah Paul and Timothy I want to see that power at work inside of me Cause I'm tired of the status quo There's gonna be more than this There's gonna be more Gonna be more There's gonna be more than this Desperate people do desperate things We press in you There's gonna be more Gonna be more Number five, master human management. Master human management. Master human management. People should see how you manage humans. We are in the domain domain of human beings, not angels, not spirits. You must master it. So under that number one, develop a persona that attracts people, not repels them. There is a personality that attracts people. That people like to always want to be around develop a persona that attracts people not repel them under that be incurable humble those are some of the persona that people like people like humble people no one likes to stay around a proud person be incurable humble always create an atmosphere of joy no one likes to stay around dry people every time you are turning your face you are frowning that it is with joy that we draw out of the wells of salvation that is why isaac said oh he saw go go get me venison so that my heart will produce joy then the blessing can flow it is with joy who like to stay around happy people develop a persona that attracts people you are working with people in leadership even in life on the atrium relationship is a capital it's a stream of income you must learn how to manage people manifest the fruit of the spirit work on your bad character stop explaining no actually the way i said it is that no is the way he understands it is that see listen we are not it's not a fault of us to understand things the way we chose to understand you can't force our understanding change all this inspiration is not just change your character stop explaining i'm speaking big english just change your character work on it i'm still under the first one developing a personnel that attracts people be very appreciative if people feel appreciated, they will do more. Eat them with thanks like food. 
people do things for me i say thank you i'm very grateful i don't i say don't thank you i'm grateful i'm grateful thank you value people make them feel valued be interested in their fears don't come on you don't know what you, your members of your department are going through you are in a department you don't know what a fellow department member is going through they're just angry why are you like this why did you do this one why did you do this one really try and be, be interested the bible said and that in the prison all of them were in the same pain no? joseph the butler and the baker two of us they were all a what in prison all prisoners is that not so the bible said but joseph woke up in the morning asking them why is your countenance sad he showed concern why is your countenance so sad the, the way this was just a bone face throughout this reason it's just a bone face it's just a bone. Ah, ah. find out so concerned value human beings Val see in this age you can't do anything without human beings value people even god values them if i prove that you value god is to value what he values psalm chapter 8 he said what is man that thou art what mindful of you are thinking about this creature every day when the devil wants to snatch one of us we don't support the motion and say satan you can have it so cheap we snatch them out of fire snatch is forceful grab say even if you choose to want to loss i won't help you loss we are grabbing them back we understand there are three categories of the lost i wrote that in my book taking christ to the nations i think part one there are three categories of the lost the lost coin the lost sheep lost son the lost coin doesn't even know it is lost that one will never make an attempt you pursue after it the lost sheep knows that it is lost that type is easy to be won your job is to open the hands then also the lost sheep you know it was going with the master i just missed road so and that you start hearing the, the sheep cry bah, trying to look for the others so that one is the easiest soul to win because it is naturally looking for its way back home then you have the lost son that one must just suffer for life first before he will not be thinking of ways of looking for solution in every prayer house these are different categories you don't treat all the lost the same way say person what they try to save you never take serious it is an insult to be bitter towards those you are called to save an insult is a loss of consciousness of your assignment and mission how can you be angry for towards the same people you want to rescue why it's a it's a demonic manipulation to abuse your assignment to make you have hatred towards your assignment that's your job under that style human management the second point there is give people time to grow the church is not for perfect people it's for perfecting people a sister just joined church today you're already complaining about her ah, ah. we should have more problems in the church is that not so because that's what the church is meant for there are those who we know have attained some levels of maturity based on the trainings we've given to them the teachings we give we warn them the bible calls them the unruly we warn the unruly we strengthen the feeble we help the weak and we are patient towards all men even God is patient. The Bible says God is not slack concerning his promises, but he's patient towards all men. How you wait this they serve the God, no can get patience. Give people time to grow. Some of them will just allow them, let them be amidst us. Trusting God that with prayer and with the word they are hearing consistently, one day they will be convicted. Never forget the power of the gospel is conviction. There are three basic responses to conviction. Number one is salvation. Number two is offense. Number three is contemplation. Best I'll think about it. Felix said, You almost convinced me but let me still be looking at this your matter that's contemplation mm. i'm not saying yes or no but i'll think about it so we get angry and stone you so we must be taught those three response so when you see any one of it you don't feel like i haven't preached the reverse you will know it's part of it Yeshua, Amashia, we say for the perfecting of the saints, allow people to grow, give them time, bear with people, be patient to people. And you know the funny thing, those with special issues need special attention. That's what the Bible tells us. He said that body of our part of our body that looks is the one we give more attention to. Those can be you allow them inside the church, then you give them more attention compared to the ones that don't need to be saved because you want to help them please be patient be patient have them time time focused on their relevant part and give them time that's why be careful this is your social media i saw somebody who say they say when don't burn bridges i will burn the bridges i will tear it i will scatter it the best mp3 you download it. when your wahala starts you will be it alone 
do we follow what I'm saying? You don't, you just, you hear some vulgar words. I said, those are morality, not spirituality. That's not what the Bible teaches us. Where are you learning it from? They sound nice because that's actually what you wanted to do in the first place. You just needed somebody to sponsor it. And that you heard somebody say, say, oh, finally I got what I want. That's Christians for you. They are just looking for somebody to validate what is already in their heart. Then they buy that reality. When it backfires, you bear it alone. Number four, learn forgiveness and tolerance. Forgiveness is those we that that we that offends us. Tolerance is those we have vowed to keep forgiving over and over again. That's what the Bible calls what forbearance. There won't be room for me to say I forgive, forgive. I'll just know I live with it. I ignore it. You must learn forgiveness and tolerance, forbearance. First Thessalonians 5:14, Hebrew 12, 12, and 1 Corinthians 12:22. He said, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are what? Unruly. Those you have trained, you have taught, they are misbehaving, warn them. Tell them, Stop this behavior. This is wrong. This is not Christ like. Comfort the feeble minded. Those that are fear, fear, they are not strong in God yet. And you support those that are weak. How will somebody join prayer units today? You gave him 10 days all night. You are wondering why he left church. He just joined. You say, Thank God, we have a new member here today. Let's go after introducing him. Let's not forget this week is our seven days dry fast. The guy look at you. He said, Thank God I've not done a dog show. <laughs> Don't scare people. It's not a sign that you are too spiritual. That's why I started by saying, give people time to grow. They will catch up to a level. There are things I understand now. There are days I didn't understand them. And nobody killed me. They allowed me to grow to a point I can now grab. Oh, I call you holy. Your name is holy. He said, finally, be patient with people. Keep encouraging them. Keep strengthening them. You should know that this is a warfare. The cost of marriage is breaking down now. It's social media. Every content on every short clips. You just have to disallow. We have people, you give them a distance, you cut them off, you just block them. That's the only thing you are hearing. I weep for this generation. This is a subtle deception. This is morality, not spirituality. You are teaching morals, not spirituality. You say, reduce your inner cycle. I've told you, you'll be a dot. It's when you turn, there's no cycle again. Because you have reduced your inner circle. You that even people are managing. That's my pain. The people that they are talking to, people too are managing them. All. They are the ones that want to block people. You that they are managing. You are blocking people. If only you block them, you are very happy. Say finally. I can help you somebody. Have empathy and emotional intelligence. Be kind. Be kind. Be kind. Show concern. The Bible says, let brotherly love continue. Let there be brotherly kindness. He says, add to your faith kindness. Add to your faith what? Kindness. First Peter. Galatians 5.22. The fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, gentleness, kindness. Please be kind. It, it is not a moral. It is a Christian character and virtue. Say, nobody owe you any kindness. You just... Everybody too are going through a lot. Now lie! The Bible tells me that I can ignore my lot for the sake of my brother. And still ask him, how are you doing? Joseph was in the same prison, still asking somebody else, why are you looking sad? You see, if, if not that somebody pointed it out now, it all sound good, you have crammed it and led. You are now working with that revelation. That lie, it's not correct. The Bible says we hold men love. So you can't say, I hold nobody anything. Be your brother's keeper. The sixth leadership character you need is to have passion for increase and fruitfulness don't be happy when people leave your department don't be happy when people leave the church and don't be a contributing factor to it follow hard after them snatch them out of the fire that's what the bible says. he said for we know the terror of the lord so we snatch them out of the fire. listen we cannot go and teach them the terror of the lord it is we that know it they don't know it we give them the good news it, and the reason why we are giving them because we that are now saved we know the terror of the Lord we know what hell can be so we are using that passion to say please you cannot go the way of the world increase they gave you 10 members make it 20 you can't just stay static everything around you must be growing you must have that passion and zeal for growth die to self when you die to self you will not be your pride will not be talking to you see so this is that she know my age she wants me to come and beg her. She wants me to come. You won't see those things. All you see is for the sake of the gospel, the sake of Christ. Lead by example. 
you have driven everybody. Say they're a bad person, and they're a bad person, but they're a bad person. When some people want to commit suicide, and the police and other people come there, do they tell them, go and die? They begin to talk to them gently to convince them to change their mind. You are seeing a, your own Christian brother want to commit suicide. Because going to the world of the world is suicide. You want to kill your own self. And you are telling him, go, we don't beg anybody. Anybody has to go, to go. Nobody will beg you to serve God. I used to beg. If you want me to put my two legs on the ground, I will put it. Not because you are giving me money, but for the salvation of your soul. I won't be happy the devil got you. So all these teachings that is making everybody become hardliners. Cut, block, delete. That's the way. That's the only thing you know now. You are now wondering why you are 35, you have not married. You block all the boys, they told you block. Anybody see something in your life, block. You have blocked everybody. I am married to Jesus, Satan, leave me alone. I'll give you, now you are single. Very soon you'll be album. I'm married to, to Jesus, Satan, leave me. You have blocked everybody. And after album, you become EP, extended play. Please, be careful though. Be careful what you just, everything you just suck. Vroom, vroom, vroom. That's why anything that doesn't convince you, come to your mentor, come to your teacher. Sir, please, I heard this and this. Show me. I'm not really convinced. Let me get clarity. Let the person be able to convince you from God's word that this is what the Bible says. If not, I just see something. Bam, boom, you have consumed. You will bear it alone. Why you suffer? A shame be teddy bear. Lift up your hands and just bless him.